I asked everyone what they wanted to see, and just about everyone agreed that they wanted to see a 223 fired through a moisten the gun. So to do that, we have what's called a Sabo. A Sabo allows a smaller caliber projectile to be fired through a larger bore by taking up that extra space. Uh, now to make them, we pulled bullets out of old surplus ammunition and filled them with FMJs uh, surrounded by a Sabo. Now we left the same amount of powder inside the casing uh, as we would for the 762x54R and that's going to give us a very dangerous situation. We actually don't know what's going to happen but we expect to see speeds in excess of 4,000 feet per second. Uh, we're not going to be measuring that with our chronograph because once the bullet leaves the muzzle that Sabo becomes shrapnel and we don't want to damage our gear. Now this isn't something you should try at home, it's incredibly dangerous and we don't want anybody getting hurt so that's why we're doing it here. And that's why we have our interesting setup. We have our rifle here backed up by a steel plate and that's going to protect us from any shrapnel. We're also going to be firing from about 20 yards away behind a truck so that way we don't take any dangerous shrapnel to the face. Uh, we also hosted our giveaway last week and the winner is posted below so if you see your name up here please contact us and we're going to send you that 22 long rifle ammunition that you won. Alright guys let's get to the test. We're going to be firing from point blank range because we decided that if you're crazy enough to fire a Sabo 223 out of a Moise Nagant, you're crazy enough to get close to your enemy. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so we're back from the range and let's take a look at how the soft point and the FMJ performed. On the left here is the soft point and over here is the full metal jacket. The first shot we took was the full metal jacket. It entered here on the right hand side of the block and uh, to keep you in perspective for this shot, up is actually down. So the round hit here and then immediately pitched downwards. And you can tell the amount of energy that was expended into the ballistic gelatin because the bullet only came in contact with about a quarter inch of all of this but it had enough energy to create a permanent cavity roughly three inches in diameter. After that, it kept yawing and breaking apart. We have a piece of the jacket here, another piece of lead here, and the last bullet fragment here. And it pitched all the way downwards and exited the t uh, bottom of the block into the table, and it embedded itself into the table. We're going to try to pull that out and see if we can show you guys. Um, and then on the left here, this is the soft point. It entered the block and uh, we can see just how much energy was expended on this one. Just like with the first shot because of the petals left over inside the block, uh, the bullet did not come in contact with that gel. Uh, there are fragments of, it looks like gunpowder I'm assuming, uh, but the bullet only began to fragment here at the four inch mark. So this is all caused by just energy. I haven't seen the high speed yet, but I expect to see a really big temporary cavity. So right here at about the four or five inch mark, the bullet started fragmenting and performing a lot more like a frangible round than a soft point. There are pieces of lead inside the ballistics gelatin uh, all the way out until the 14 inch mark. That's the farthest penetrating piece. And we have what looks to be either the base of the round itself or maybe um, the Sabo, which would be pretty interesting considering a piece of plastic, um, the mass involved there for it to penetrate that far into the ballistics gelatin. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got some pretty interesting results here. If you guys have any uh, ideas as to what these rounds could be used for, please post them below because we're very interested and we have a lot of Sabos left over, so we want to conduct some more tests. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a nice day.